now, Jim and Mike is proud to present Bob Bobberson's Botanical Bobber Farm. Hello, I'm Robert Bobberson IV. I'm a fifth generation bobber farmer, and welcome to Farmer Bob's Bobber Farm. Here are the hives of my bobber bees. I call them bobber bees because bobber trees are bee pollinated, much like most fruit trees are. In order to have healthy bobbers, you need to have healthy bees. Most people don't realize that bobbers grow on trees, but just like any other fruit crop, they're cultivated and harvested and then allowed to dry. Much like birdhouse gourds, you know the birdhouse gourd is grown and then it is allowed to dry, in which case then it is processed and painted and becomes hollow and that's when it's used for decoration. Well bobbers are no different. They're a succulent fruit and then when they mature they are harvested, they're allowed to dry and then we put a protective coating on them that allows them to float and that is how the bobber trees work. Here's a little bobber fruit in the wild. In all likelihood a fisherman lost his bobber and it floated up to shore and the seeds came out and a little bobber tree sprouted. The fruit on wild bobber trees are typically not very impressive as they're not properly cultivated and pruned as they are in commercial operations. Here we see a cluster of immature bobbers. You can see that there's four of them growing here which is really too many for one cluster. You probably should thin this down to maybe two bobbers per, per strand. That way they can get larger and mature into the larger size bobbers that are so desirable. Here we see some more bobbers that are getting close to be mature. These are still a little young. You see they've just still got some of their lighter color on them. They haven't actually deepened into the proper uh, red-white that we typically see in bobbers. Here are a couple that are very nice though. They're, they're smallish. We can let them grow a little bit longer. Um, to get bigger or we can harvest them now to be sold as a smaller size bobber which does have a market for these so you need to get a good variety of sizes of bobbers some smaller some larger if they get very large then they tend to get kind of tough and heavy and even when they dry they don't properly float so of course that's not very that's not optimal for a bobber to not float so you typically want to get them at their, at their peak ripeness and not let them over ripen. Here is what every bobber farmer loves to see. Full, ripe, mature, juicy bobbers. Look at them. Aren't they gorgeous? These are just fantastic crops. Thank you for visiting Farmer Bob's Bobber Farm. It's been a pleasure to show you my crops, show you our trees, show you our operation here. And the next time you go looking for bobbers, be sure to look for the label that says grown in the USA. Thanks for coming. Have a good day.